Hello everyone. I'm Alexei Sipachevsky, and now I will tell you about the two series of rubbers from Inha, Jupiter 2 and Jupiter 3. I will give a brief comparison of how they differ within the series and how the Jupiter 2 series differs from the Jupiter 3 series. Let's start with Jupiter 2. This series has four rubbers, soft, 38, 39, and 40. There was also mention of 41 somewhere, but that's not certain. Even if there are five of them and not four, the essence will not change much. 41 most likely does not differ much from 40. But personally, I have never seen 41. I tested soft, 38, 39, and 40. They are available in our store. Soft differs significantly from 38. Soft is much softer, slower, calmer. It is designed for less aggressive play. You can find individual reviews on our channel, you will find the links below the video. 38 differs insignificantly from 39, much less than soft differs from 38. 39 also differs insignificantly from 40, a slight increase in hardness and a slight increase in power. Jupiter 238 is not very hard rubber yet, but it still belongs to the class of quite hard rubbers. And it is quite powerful in the hands of those who have the appropriate technique. Well, 40 is noticeably harder and much more powerful than 38. But to use all this power, you need to have a sufficient level of technique. By the way, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now about the Jupiter 3 series. We already have reviews of versions 38, 39, and 40 on our channel. Jupiter 337 was released later. I haven't tried it yet. Judging by the description from the company, 37 is much softer than 38, it has a much stronger bounce. 38 has a noticeably softer feel and a noticeably stronger bounce than 39. 39 is harder and has a weaker bounce. The difference between 38 and 39 is significant. The difference between 39 and 40 is much smaller. 40 is harder, the bounce is more or less the same as 39. And if you have already tried 37 and compared it with others, please write in the comments. Now I will tell you how the Jupiter 3 series differs from the second one. In general, the third Jupiter is like taking the second Jupiter and smearing a booster on it. The result will not be completely the same, but similar. That is, the Jupiter 3, with the same stiffness, has a much stronger rebound than the second one. But at the same time, it cannot be said that the third Jupiter spins more powerfully. The thing is that the second Jupiters are capable of spinning so powerfully that it's probably nowhere more powerful. If we compare different Jupiters on a sponge 38, then the spinning potential of the second one is higher than that of the third one. That's how it seemed to me. In general, probably the second Jupiter spins more powerfully than the third one. Therefore, for those tennis players for whom spin is more important and the ability to maintain a higher pace in the exchange of shots is less important, Jupiter 2 will be better for them. And for those for whom maximum spin is less important and the strength of the rebound and the pace of the game are more important, the third Jupiter will be better. But sometimes it may be different. Try the rubbers yourself to find the exact answer. Sometimes I am asked the question, tell me what's better the second Jupiters or the third ones. I'm not sure which series is better for me. The third Jupiter is not an improvement over the second one. The third Jupiter is a different rubber. It's neither better nor worse than the second one. Both the second and the third Jupiters are bomb rubbers in terms of the price quality ratio. Plus, they are very durable. As for the first version of Jupiter, it's an outdated rubber. You're unlikely to find it anywhere. In any case, I don't recommend buying it if you can buy the second or third one. That's it. Buy from our store more often while we make good reviews for you. I was Alexei Sipachevsky. Goodbye.